Sorry about the weird lighting. Um, I'm in my bedroom and it's nighttime. So this is the end of day one. I only read like this much for my first book, Danny Lay and Wine. I was out all day. I went to Universal Studios uh, to film another YouTube video. I read a little bit in the park, but I didn't have that much time. I came home at about 9, I had dinner, and then <laughs> I ended up watching YouTube videos, so yeah. So it's the second day, I just got home from work, and I'm going to try to finish this book now. I'm pretty sure I can finish this today, I'm really enjoying it, it's like the writing style is so beautiful, I just mm, highly recommend this. Okay, so it's the next day. It's day three, I believe. And I am still on <laughs> this book. My first book. But can I just say how much I am loving this book? I am absolutely obsessed with it. And I know it's taking me a long time to read it, but I told you I read really, really slowly. Um, and I just, I don't want to rush it. I really want to enjoy it. I don't have that much left, so I, I will finish it today. I know I said that yesterday, but <laughs> I will finish it today. Anyways, yeah, that's my update. <laughs> Alrighty, it is Thursday morning now. Yesterday I finished Dandelion Wine, which I am still not over. It was so good. Can you hear the crickets? Wait, let me just close the window. Oh my goodness. Okay. Bye bye crickets. Um. You can still hear them, can't you? It's fine. Um, so, Dandelion Wine, the writing was so fantastical and magical, even though what was happening wasn't especially magical or anything. It was so imaginative. Um, and then, before I went to bed, I also quickly read this one so that I could give myself a little boost, because um, now I've read two books. This was super cute. Um, I kind of thought I wouldn't learn anything new in this, but there's actually some stuff in here that I didn't know about, you know, how they made Dobby and Creature come to life in the movies. Now I'm going to try to read this before heading off to work, because I am still so behind. And I just finished Gulliver's Travels as well. This took me like two minutes to read, honestly. But it's nice, because I never actually read the story before, ever. Um, so yeah, this was cute. <laughs> Great, now I've got three books done. Let's see if I can get some more reading done before work. So I'm back home now, um, I'm only a little bit wet so it's fine, we're doing good. I managed to get like about two hours of reading done in, um, hold on, in this book, Barry Trotter and the Shameless Parody. I'm like one-fifth of the way done. It's actually turning out to be kind of what I expected, like really funny at times, like laugh out loud kind of funny, but then at some points it's kind of like... I don't know, at some points it gets kind of lame, but I can't deny I'm enjoying reading this. But since it's raining outside, I can't really keep reading this, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start on The Ocean at the End of the Lane. So I'll probably get started on that one and then keep reading this one tomorrow. Um, oh, except no, there's actually a lot of things I have to do, um, because starting from next Tuesday I'll be traveling, for a while and god there's so much I need to do there's so much I need to get ready for that so I'll probably do that now I don't know if I'll have more time to read today maybe before bed good evening um today I sat in the station for like I don't even know how long but like Pretty much till the sun went down because I really I'm so behind. 
Um, and I'm pretty much like, I have this much left of Barry Trotter and the Shameless Parody. Um, so, you know, I'm getting there. I'm starting to lose hope that I'm gonna finish all my seven books. However, tomorrow, luckily, I will have a day off. Apparently, I don't have to come into work tomorrow, so that means I can read a lot. I'm super stoked about that. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for reading for me today because I am about to pick up my husband from the station and you know, once he's home, I just wanna spend some time together. So let's just hope I manage to read like a crazy amount in the coming days. Also, another effect this booktubeathon is giving me is that our apartment looks <laughs> like a dump. I haven't had time to do much housework. Maybe you can see, but the kitchen's a mess. The floor is a mess. I mean, usually I'm pretty good at keeping the house clean. I'm kind of like Monica from Friends, um, in which I really, I just like having things clean and I just don't have time to clean things and it's kind of giving me anxiety. <laughs> so I don't know if this booktubeathon thing is good for me, honestly. Aside from being kind of a clean freak, I'm also kind of very stubborn, so <laughs> I'm gonna push through and I'm gonna see if I can finish all my books. So, just finished the Barry Trotter Harry Potter parody book. This is my fourth book. Yeah, I finished it outside, so that's good. So I know I should be reading, but as I'm traveling to Europe next week, um, and also going to Disneyland in Paris, I decided <laughs> to make some Mickey ears. These are inspired by Daisy, as I will be Disney bounding as Daisy. So yeah, that's what I've been procrastinating with. So yeah, not much reading, but I mean, it's cool, right? Anyways, back to reading. Good morning! Um, so, it is Sunday. It is the last day. I still have three books to finish. I don't know if I'll be able to do it because I need to go out and run some errands. I was reading The Ocean at the End of the Lane last night, but I literally fell asleep. It, it got like really late. I'm like halfway done with that one. And it's it's not a very long book. I think I need like another 150 pages and I'll be finished. I am so busy packing and getting ready to leave, <sighs> but I am still not giving up. I am going to start reading now and then in about half an hour I have to go, but then when I come back I'll read more and hopefully we can do this. We will see. So it is now. 1.20 in the afternoon and I have finished The Ocean at the End of the Lane. I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. i give it like a 3 out of 5. Like it wasn't bad but like it didn't grasp me the way I felt it should have. I haven't gone for my errands yet because I really wanted to finish this book first. Um, so I'm thinking I might do those things first. We'll see. I've also braided my hair. <laughs> Because I'm going to a wedding soon. But yeah, see you in a bit. And I am back. I think it probably looks as if I haven't moved from this couch. Um, but I have. I've been doing a lot of stuff. I'm finally going to start this book. This is my second to last book. It shouldn't take me too long. It's a comic book. Let's have a look. And I just finished this one too. Yes. As I expected, this one didn't take me too long. Um, now I only have one book to go, which is great. This one was... All right, it was kind of cliche, kind of very cliche, <laughs> but um, it was cute, I guess. Now I'm going to get some more work done, and then tonight I will go through my last book, which is this huge book. <laughs> but you know, look at look at the pictures. You know, there's a lot of pictures inside here, so I feel like this is doable. <laughs> Um, we will see. But first I really do need to get some stuff done, so I will see you guys later. Would you look at this artwork? Oh my god.
I did it guys! It is about a quarter to twelve and I have just finished my seventh book. This one. It was a close one, but I did it and I'm super happy. I'm so proud of myself, seriously. Truthfully, I did not think I was gonna make it, especially because the first book took me three full days to read. I have to say, my favorite is definitely the first book I read, which was Dandelion Wine by Ray Bradbury. I'm still not over that book. I also really enjoyed actually the book that I just read, which was The uh, Creature Vault from the Harry Potter movies. I'm really glad that I pushed myself because often I'm too scared to try stuff like this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing this challenge again next year. I think I should go to bed now. I hope you had a wonderful week. I hope you read all the things you wanted to read. I hope you enjoyed your read. I think that was it for my booktube bathon week of 2017. I guess until next year? Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs>